How's it going guys? So as you know, I keep a lot of different blue tongue skinks and I'm really lucky in that most of the species I have can live here outdoors year round. These western blue tongue skinks are a bit different. These guys come from more arid desert areas so the humidity outside here isn't very good for them long term. I like to put them outside though on really hot warm days where they enjoy the sun. But now we're going to set up some inside UVB for them so they can have that ultimate experience. So I'm really excited because I just received a shipment of my order from Arcadia. Special shout out to my friend Anthony at Arcadia Reptile and Bird Australia for sending me some of this stuff to try out. But with that said guys, I did buy a lot of this myself as well because I really love this product. And I can't wait to get it on top of everything. Best UVBs on the market in my opinion. As well as some awesome diets and stuff. I can't wait to put it on things like my mountain dragons here. Um, my bearded dragon in there. And of course, this new enclosure. So here's the western blue tongue skink set up right now. As you can see, it's super dark on this side where there's no light. That's another big reason I wanted these new lighting systems. Here's one of them now. I'm going to put them outside and start setting this up so they're not in the way. But um, they're a beautiful species and I can't wait to see how these lights will benefit them. So this double bay enclosure I recently built for um, blue tongue skinks. It's been one of my main projects lately as you've probably seen in my recent videos. I've been setting it up, making it look really naturalistic, just trying a lot of things in there with them. And the whole plan with these originally was to have some nice long uh, T5 UVBs in there like these after using them for my forest dragons because I just love the light output so now to finally get them here the orders come in I'm excited to put them in and that's what we're doing in this video today so the for the western blue tongues mainly because they come from quite a high intensity UVB area in the wild and they won't get that here and they can't be outside all the time so having it in there in the enclosure with them is just going to look great and it's going to be really good for them stimulate their natural uh, sort of cycles and Hopefully uh, we'll see some behavioral changes because they're a bit shy at the moment. They don't like to come out that much, but we'll see if this makes any difference. Regardless, it's going to make the enclosure look awesome just because of that really bright white light output. And yeah, let's just get started, get right into it and see what we can do. So now in this setup for the Western Blue Tongue Skinks, we're actually going to use this Pro T5 UVB kit, 12% UVB. That's for your sort of desert animals and stuff. But what's great about Arcadia is they actually have a lighting guide online, which you can look up. It's super simple. You can simply type in your species and it basically calibrates and tells you what lighting you need and how far away it needs to sit from the light for it to be totally effective. And it's just, it's really cool. It's really easy. That's what I did when I was ordering these online. I basically typed in blue tongue skink or shingleback because they basically come from the same area as the westerns. It came up and showed you different lighting options, how you can set them up and what light you need. It was really easy, you didn't have to think about it too hard and it's uh, super helpful for especially new newcomers to the reptile hobby. So this is what we're going to put in there, let's get started. So I'm going to unbox this kit just to show you guys exactly what we get. So let's see, because there's a few things in here that we're going to have to use to set up this light properly in this enclosure. So let's have a look. Okay, so first thing, we get our holder with reflector attached, so you can see. And these reflectors are really good, they bounce everything back and actually increases the distance the UVB gets thrown. So that's your reflector and holder, and you of course get your bulb. This is the T5 bulb itself, 12%. Or your desert reptiles. With that, you get all the other little bits and pieces you need. So, here we have the connector. So, this can be plugged in to the ends of this, and you can connect up to 10 of these units together onto one power source. So, that's pretty awesome. Um, here we have obviously the plug, so that's your one power source, it's got a switch on it, that's cool. 
And then here it comes with mounting brackets. So this is what we're gonna to have to use in this setup to mount it to the top of the enclosure. And from what I've seen, it's really easy to set up, so we'll give it a try. So the basic idea for mounting these light units is you have your bracket here that comes with the packaging. So you put your screw through and it attaches through like that to top of the enclosure. And then the light bar itself actually basically clips onto that and you push it up and that's how it holds in place. So as you can see it's now attached to the top. The brackets, I found it a little bit hard to get in those brackets are really tight, but I mean, I suppose that's a good thing in ensuring it's not ever gonna fall. But yeah, that's it. And I, I drilled a hole in the back there to get the, um, the plug through for the power source. This is where all the magic happens. So we'll get this out and put it in. Now with these lamps, you wanna be pretty careful because they seem like they're quite fragile being so thin. Um, yeah, you just wanna be careful you don't break them. And gently twist it. There you have it. Installed. Moment of truth. Will it turn on? Three, two, one. Oh wow. Oh, that's so much better. I still need to set up the enclosure, obviously, but so much more light. Oh, that's really nice. Wow. All right, I'm going to set up this enclosure now, and. We'll come back when I'm putting the lizards in and we'll see how they enjoy it. Alright, so the setup is now done. It's looking absolutely awesome. I'm experimenting with a bit of different substrates at the moment, but nevertheless, we've got a big hide here for them to go under. I made it's all um, fake rock and real rock. Got some real plants in here. They're not living, they're just sort of branches I've snapped off or grasses I've tied up and made all bushy. But yeah, let's get the lizards in. Just brought them in from outside. I'm keen to see how they like it. Here are the lucky inhabitants. I'm just gonna put them right in. And wow. They're gonna be just totally shining in here. That nice bright light. And wow, you know, just instantly putting them in there, they just already look brighter. And just, oh, beautiful. So when using these awesome, high quality UVB lights, it's actually been shown in a lot of reptiles to really bring out their colors, which I'm really excited for with these guys. Keeping them nice and bright, because these are the WA form of the Western Blue Tongue. And they are often nice light animals. And I know that good quality UVB helps with that. And not just that, it also, I know people have had reports of behavioral changes. They've noted their animals to become more active under these lights and basically just more alive. And that makes a lot of sense because it's more energy that they have access to. And it's obviously a lot more natural. Mimicking the natural environment, or as Arcadia puts it, wild recreation. So I see this as a total win-win for both me and the animals. For me, Basically because it's a nice bright enclosure. I get to appreciate the exhibit for what it is and look at the beautiful animals In all their glory and then for them It's a massive benefit because they get that nice UVB light which will help them synthesizing their vitamin D3 As well as it's actually good for their eyesight because these reptiles can actually see the light spectrum And I know I've said in the past that blue tongue skinks Will do fine without UVB and that's true they will do fine, they will survive, but why not do a bit better if we can? Especially for species like this that I can't keep outside. And what's also really important to note is that in this enclosure, there's also parts that are away from the UVB light, as well as hides. So they can hide and get completely away from the light. I have this foliage here, so where they can be sort of semi in the light or there's also spots where they can get access to the complete light. So this is really important. The animals will self-regulate. They know what's best for them, but they just need to have the options to be able to do that. 
So thanks for watching guys. I hope you found this video useful. This is how I'm going to be setting up all these indoor blue tongue skinks from now on. That nice UVB. And as well as a bunch of other species. I'm going to be setting up all these new lights that I just got in a bunch of videos after this one. So make sure you check those out. I'm also going to be trying the other Arcadia products and just seeing how the animals enjoy it. Subscribe if you want to see more Australian reptiles and other product reviews.